wanted Fat Perez in this contest. I'm here, Perez is not. It's a bad look. I mean, maybe he got an on at Shinnecock, but we have golf here in Coney Islands. Bingo's mini golf on the boardwalk. I mean, someone should tell Perez that Bingo's doesn't require a collar shirt. Heck, Bingo doesn't care if you wear a shirt at all. Rich, I don't know if you're approaching this with the uh, appropriate amount of seriousness. <laughs> Well, look at yeah, this. I mean, I mean, look at this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. this, this is not the chestnut hero. We're Bertoletti. talking about down to the wire. This is unbelievable. Bertoletti now back in the lead, a beloved son of Chicago, like John Hughes and Jason Diamond, but not at Winneka Brat. He assassins down the avenue on the south side. Morgan Park represent Pat Bertoletti's dad, actually a founding member of the Kenosha Kickers. And Pat Bertoletti, for a lot of people who are old school fans of competitive eating, there is an emotional connection because sure. you, he really does represent the very beginnings of the sport as a mainstream preoccupation. Yeah, he, he, he is a, a fan favorite. You know, he left the sport for a while, like Jordan, right? And, he, and, and you know, very less, much less like controversy Jordan. around the Jordan, around the Bertoletti absence, but he's back and he's looking to dominate. This would be an amazing thing. And I'm sure if Joey's watching on, he's rooting for his buddy Pat. You know, we, go ahead. Rich, the fact that you know, we've got so many eaters who are bunched together. What kind of pressure does that put on the judges who were sworn in by your brother before the competition? It's, it's a high pressure thing down in the spray zone, but these are trained officials. You know, all of a sudden, Webb is doing cardio, you know, totally behind. He keeps waving in more dogs. This is like mezzanine financing meets competitive eating, only the risk is all Webb's. Look at this point, I mean, we have to say, I mean, what we're seeing with these counts, we have to emphasize again, they're unofficial. Pat Bertoletti has reached the 50 dog milestone. That's a big deal. Yep. And he's pulling ahead. Esper, over under for Esper coming in to 49.5, came in at minus 110. I love the guy, he's like a character in a Richard Ford novel. Relatable, not bigger than life, full of mystery. The sports writer. The sports writer's a great book. Uh, who had Bertoletti? I'm trying to remember, who had Bertoletti when this, uh, before this started? Uh, yeah, 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 I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, you know? Yeah. And at this point, I mean, you, is it over? Is five dogs assuming that this count holds? Is it over? Is Pat Bertoletti going to be our champion? Well, is he going to break his own personal best of 55? These are this 54 with 39 seconds left. Teddy Roosevelt would be proud today. At this moment, Pat Bertoletti is the man in the arena. No victory without struggle. Fulfilling his promise as a citizen and about to be named Nathan's champion. Again, Pat Bertoletti means so much to the people who follow this sport. And he's been out of it for the most part for a long time. But he is roaring back in a way that very few, except me, could have anticipated. Yeah, it is, and Nesper's still hanging tough. 10 seconds to go, but I think Pat Bertoletti's about to have a Coke and a smile here at Nathan's Famous. A personal best for Pat Bertoletti out here in Coney Island. Two historic events. Oh my glory. And our assumption yeah. is the mustard belt. Oh, and he just got bumped up a couple of dogs. Oh, oh, oh. The judge was a little slow. In this 58. These are unofficial, but that is impressive. We have got to get the official results. Later in his career and performing like that. However, after that back and forth, back and forth back and forth battle. We had one of these eaters, one of these eaters had 53 hot dogs and buns, and one of these eaters had 58. And the winner is... Patrick Bernaletti, 58, Nathan's famous hot dogs and buns. In second place, the great Jeffrey Espar. Patrick Bertoletti, 58 hot dogs and buns, a personal best for him, a very hard fought battle. Patrick, how do you feel? Incredible performance, I've never seen you so in sync. How do you feel? It was, it was all focused today, no mohawk, just hot water, and uh, I wasn't gonna stop eating until the job was done. Ladies and gentlemen, the number nine ranked eater in the world that's gonna change today. 275 jalapeno peppers, 
and 58 hot dogs and buns, Patrick Bertoletti. <laughs> Chicago, Illinois. Three months of practice, uh, dedication, and uh, I just can't believe it. I'm always second or third, and this is big. You always said in previous contests that you didn't necessarily do your best on this stage, even though you practiced well. What helped you get over the hump this time? Uh, I lost some weight, just lots of work, and uh, I just there was an urgency with Joey not here. I knew I had a shot, and I unlocked. I, I was able to unlock something that I don't know where it came from, but I'm not complaining. Congratulations. What up, y'all? This is your boy Ace here, and welcome to Retro Warehouse, man. So we had Patrick Bertoletti. He goes by Deep Dish because he's from Chicago, man. Uh, he was the champion today. He crushed down 58 hot dogs today, man. More than anybody outside of Joey Chestnut last year. So Joey Chestnut wasn't in the field, so it was wide open today. Joey Chestnut wasn't there because of a sponsorship tip that he had, but he will be competing against some soldiers, I believe, today or something like that later today. But uh, he would not be at this nation's uh, hot dog eating contest because of his sponsorship situation, man. But for us betters, it was a better day for us because if you are familiar with trying to bet on this stuff, man, Joey's eyes are like crazy in the minuses, bro. Like you can't even really bet on this dude because the eyes are just not in our favor of trying to bet against the field, man, for the field, man. It just, it's just not going to happen, man. So this year was exciting for me because I was like, I'm going to be able to bet on it. I already came in. I had betted on uh, Miki Sudo, who actually got a record today, 51 hot dogs on the lady side. I actually uh, got that. Um, I think I had her over 50. Ended up eclipsing that today. So I started out my day well with that. But uh, before we get to Bertoletti and how he did this, man, if you guys want to see this whole hot dog eating contest, go over to my Patreon right now. Um, even if I don't have it up right now, go over there and just sign up and get ready for me to post it whenever I get a chance. I'm going to try to post it within a day. Uh, you guys can see the whole hot dog eating contest, uh, the whole 10 minutes in the post uh, hot dog interview with uh Bertoletti and see what he had to say about it and uh so you can get it from over there man but just sign up to the Patreon and you can get access to it. Now um Bertoletti had 58 and he was one of the dudes like because the field was so open I actually took like five dudes. I think I took all the top five dudes. I took Bertoletti, Esper, Webb, Weary, and Yamamoto. I also took Corbucci because there was somebody that uh I was watching, and he said, man, look out for this Brazilian dude, Cor uh, Corbucci, bro. He was like, bro, take that dude, Corbucci, bro. I took him, too, man. And I don't regret taking I only put, like, $2 down on him, man, because he had, like, some crazy eyes anyway. So, you didn't have to really put much down to win a couple of hundred bucks if he had won. But he ended up getting 43 he wasn't far away from the rest of the field. Yamamoto also got my bet. I had him over 45 hot dogs. Um, that was a good plus for me to take advantage of. I wish I would have put a little more on it. He got 46, and but my man Bertoletti came up. I needed, so personally when I was watching this, right, I needed Bertoletti or Weary to be the winner because Esper and Webb had the lower odds, but Webb would have been okay, but I could not have Esper win. And Esper, the way it went was like, at first Weary was winning the first three minutes, I think, of the, of the competition. And then it started to change. It started going up and down. Because of the wide open field, it was a more good competition today, man. And it was going back and forth. Like, we saw Webb was up there at one point. We thought, at one point, people thought, really thought Webb was going to get the 70. He passed out. Weary passed out. Yamamoto was hanging in there, though, man. But Esper was looking like he was going to get first game. But, I mean, looking like he was going to get a chance to finally get first. And it just did not happen. So, even in the year where Joey Chestnut isn't there, this guy still comes in second, man. And I saw that a lot of people who either had Esper or Webb, they were pissed on the bets. They were like, how did this happen? But, this is why when you bet, man, just don't be betting the favorites. Like, go for the whole field, bro. I bet on Bertoletti too, man. Got nice eyes from Bertoletti, man. 
Uh, the only thing that I regret, because I did it on FanDuel, I wish I would have took Bertoletti on DraftKings too. That was my only regret. I would have won some more money. That was my only regret. I didn't I didn't get him over there. Because I really went heavy on Weary. Because I heard Weary was, you know, I saw that Mika, Miki Soto did so well in her competition. And they're married. So I thought that was going to be a good omen for him. And it was looking like that way early on. But it just didn't do it, man. But Patrick Bertoletti is going to bring Nathan's hot dog winner to Chicago. I don't know if he's the first winner from Chicago, by the way. So maybe someone in the comment section can let me know. Uh, but he prevailed with 58 dogs, man. Crazy. He broke his personal record. 55. So we had two winners today. Mickey and Patrick got past their personal best, man. So shout out to them. Esper, unfortunately, came in second again. It is, it is what it is. But how about Bertoletti getting a mustard belt today, man? You know. We'll see what uh, Joey Chestnut does later against the Soldiers, man. I don't think it's going to be televised, though, whatever happens over there. But I'm sure somebody's going to have some news about what he does, man. But uh, give me your thoughts on this in the comment section below, man. Uh, also, remember to go to the Patreon by clicking the link in the description box to go on over there and check out the full contest, man. So that's the way you can check out the full contest. But go ahead and give this video a like, share, subscribe. Thank y'all for watching Retro Warehouse. Have a good fourth, everybody.